Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this new precision spool holder that I've designed for the Tron Axie X5S. So one of the pieces that I, I wanted to do, and I've noticed this, that as the spool becomes depleted, obviously the filament moves inward uh, more. And it creates a little bit more of an angle and a bit more of a drag. And the pieces, this is with the Tron X, it just sits on this bolt. Well, actually this bolt here. And then what happens is it has this pulling action on it. So I figure there has to be a better way. And not like I want to overly adjust this thing, but I came up with something that I thought was rather interesting. So I designed up this um, spool, and there's you've probably seen a video of me designing this, and I, I did it in Inkscape and extruded it in Tinkercad. And then the idea is, is that this bolt, or sorry, nut, sits inside of this race, and the two sides of the race actually hold the nut in place. So what happens is the nut will slide back and forth in here. Now what I've done is I've used some of my magic nuts on the end of this uh, bolt. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to put a washer over the end of this now. The reason I'm doing the washer is more so just to provide metal against plastic so it'll slide better. And then what I'm going to do is, in short, just thread this in. And this is a little bit snug fitting. Might have to clean this up a little tiny bit. So we're just going to thread this in here like this. Okay, so now the basic idea is you can loosen this up and slide this back and forth and this will slide the spool and you just turn this and it cinches back up. So you can adjust the spool quite a bit and you can also adjust for different size spools. Now one of the things you may have remembered in a prior episode I also designed and it's out on Thingiverse these. now. I'll have this whole package together out on Thingiverse, so if you've got a Tron XEX5, you can just go there, and I'll have the links to this down below. Uh, but what I did is I used this with the six, uh, 608ZZ bearings inside here. Now with these, I printed them out in TPU. You can print them out in ABS or PLA. Doesn't doesn't so much matter. The reason I went with TPU is it's a little bit more flexible, and it has a little bit more grip as it goes in there and I don't have to tighten this up as tight so that's the only reason now uh, what I've also done is I've included a shim and this shim is designed to actually go on here and uh, actually go on over this uh, down to this nut Okay, so the reason I have this shim here is I want to pull it out um, in a more uniform, uniform fashion from that nut because what we're going to do is we're going to put one of these guys over top of here also and kind of push him down. Now I printed these out of TPU also and what happens is these have a collar on them that, that press against the 608, 608ZZ bearing. And the bearings are pressed inside here, and then what happens is this goes on here, 
and hopefully you can see now this this spins freely on here and again this provides that black shim in there provides kind of equal pressure so the nut isn't pushing into the TPU. So if you don't use TPU, you really don't have to use it, but this is primarily for if you use TPU. And I'd really recommend the, the TPU because the next piece is what happens is this goes in here, this goes on top of here, and then this piece goes on top of here, and because we use this magic nut here, we really don't have to worry about a washer because it's going to press uniformly on here. So this is how it all looks. And then the, the spool uh, spins uh, relatively freely. There's a little bit of pressure put on this by the, uh, by the nuts. You can kind of adjust it, but it, it rolls pretty smooth. And then what happens is this bolts onto the size, side of the printer. Now what happens is you can adjust this now. If I turn this over here, I can... Now slide this forward and backward. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and let's go uh, actually over and look at it installed on the Tron XC. Okay, welcome back. So, I guess in all honesty, I have to fess up that uh, time lapse that I showed. Uh, actually, that was the ending of the video. However, I forgot to turn the camera off time lapse, and so that was a time lapse. But I left it in because I thought it was kind of neat and kind of showed it going together rather quickly, rather than in a belabored fashion. So you sort of get the point. Um, however, that was actually a bit ago. Um, that I did that because I shoot these and then in post I kind of put them all together but anyway so I've ran this now actually for a while and it's worked really well so I've been happy with it so I wanted to come back and just kind of close out this video at the end uh, with letting you, you guys know this has worked very well and again as you've seen you know we can just loosen it up slide it back and forth to wherever we need to place it so as the spool depletes um, basically I can just slide it forward and again, the uh, it just locks in here. And so again, if you found this interesting, I have the files on Thingiverse, of course. And so if you find this interesting, hey, please give it a thumbs up. It's working really well. Uh, if you want to uh, try to execute your own? I'll have links to it down below. Don't forget Swag Shop up in the corner. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.